Hi everyone, Scrappy Kathy here, and I'm going to be a little bit off prompt. I'm going to use a tag, and that's the technique prompt. Um, it's, it's about, uh, the, the um, story prompt is about being a fashion rebel, and I never was. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think so. I, you know, anyway... That, that wasn't a story that I was compelled to tell. So I'm going to do an Astro story because they need some luck. Um, they haven't fared well the last two games of the uh, playoff series. And I, my son posted this on Facebook a while back. <laughs> I will love my Astros here or there. I will love my Astros everywhere. So I'm going to do this and and just have a little fun with it. Not uh not anything uh serious or heavy. So I've got a stencil here from um scrap a sketch and I probably should tape it down. Where is it? I have a little bit of washi tape I can use because I'm going to use it in the same place and kind of blend through it. Um, with three colors. And I have lost my mustard seed. I'm going to use fossilized amber, but um, my mustard seed is missing in action. And I have no idea where it is, so I guess it's time to get another. I'm going to do the red up at the top, and then I'm going to use this orange to kind of blend up into the red. So that it's the main color and none of these colors is going to match the orange that's in the background of the photo of course um, but that's okay I don't think the color police will come after me and that's really kind of an ugly gold instead of a pretty yellow So I tell you what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna orangeify it a bit. And then I may even add a little tiny bit of red down. Okay, let's do the big reveal. I'll stack these things up and hope that maybe as I clean off my desk from this project that I will find the ink from another project, from a previous project. Let's see what this looks like. Oh, okay, it's, it's kind of cute. And this is going to go right there. Let me put this aside and I will wash that um, and probably putting aside to get out of the way of the table is where my, um, my ink pad went astray. Let's see. I'm going to cut some foam to go on here. So I can tuck some things around. I'm, I'm not going to uh, try to, you know, match up uh, anything with a theme. <laughs> so... I'm go like that. 
I know that I want to use this down here, so let me get some tape on that. And I have this red library card, but I think it's too red. It's not orangey red enough. So I'm going to use this tag, which is a Christmas tag, but it's, um, it can go there. And I have a couple other little tags in offbeat colors. Maybe I'll have these going upside down here. And they're, they're meant to be uh, contrasting and, and not matching colors. I have a couple of um, tickets from Scrap a Sketch. Uh, they're Scrap a Sketch, and these are Halloween printables. And <clears throat> I cut, I printed them on vellum. And I, I used to have some printable vellum, um, you know, probably seven or eight years ago. And I used it all. And I bought this online and it says engineered not to um, jam printers. Well, first thing it did was jam my printer. So I'm not happy with it. It took me several tries to get um, to get these printed. And I'm going to um, I'm gonna try a few more times. What I want to do here, that's two of those. Well, that's weird. What I want to do here is tie some twine through them. And in order to lift them up, I'm doing that. I actually put should have put this um, up higher. Okay, and let me get just a little bit of black and white. Line. I'm going to feed it in through here and then go under here and feed it in. Uh, don't get fancy. This is supposed to be a quick lay. <laughs> Let's see if I can use my tweezers to get that through. Yeah, I'm not good at threading needles either. Oh, it's pulling more than it needed to. And I guess I'll let these two uh, tags kind of go ahead and and separate, and then I'll figure out where I, what I want to do with the twine. Go there, 
and I'm gonna put the tickets, let's see, I'm gonna put them like this and staple them. And I don't know if I want them here or down here, because I think it would look kind of cool if they're down here. Let's do that. And um, I've got some flowers. And yeah, what's the deal with flowers on a baseball page? But, you know. I'm going to use flowers on all the pages if I can. There, that looks like just a bundle of stuff there. And I'm gonna kind of cut that there. I might even string this through here and let it go like that. So, when I say let it go like that, it means I'm going to glue it down like that. <laughs> uh, so it looks really natural. That's kind of uh, like the makeup trick of using the best makeup being that that makes it looks like you have no makeup at you're not wearing any makeup at all okay so i'll do that and i've got these black and white flowers which i thought But I also have these leaves. And because it's the fall classic that we're leading up to, it's the playoffs leading up to the World Series, the leaves might be the best uh, choice. But you know I'm going to put some flowers in somewhere because black and white flowers will go just fine with these leaves. These leaves are, by the way, um, I think Paige Evans and the flowers are Vicki Booten. Just put that there and I'll do a flower right there. I'm going to let that that works for me. There and I'm, I'm I decided to put it under the tag, and this one I'm gonna put under here, and I won't use the big one. Those are not these tags are not really staying in place and the whole <laughs> design kind of requires that they do. I was gonna use this piece to have a contrasting color, but I'm okay. What I've done here though is I color,
covered the orange leaf and I want that orange leaf to show. So I'm gonna change my mind and put it back right there, because I want that orange to be there. I have this, it was the best of times when we made the playoffs and it was the worst of times when we lost, but it's not, you know, they're just two games down and they've been terrible at home all season. They've had a, a losing record at home and uh, they're, they lost those two games at home. So we'll, uh, we'll see what happens when they go to um, Dallas. I'm gonna add in a sunflower because I know John was there watching with me and cringing all the way. I think I like that. Um, so I'll leave that there. It kind of seems like I need something over in here. And maybe I will use a part of this. I hate doing this, but I think that'll add to that area. It's okay. And I'm going to call it done. I love that. <laughs> so I think I will call it quits. I'm going to put a date on it. Um, let's see. I'm going to say um, October, it was let's, 17th, 2023 down to to the rangers and hopefully i can have an update sheet that uh, that'll show a, a nicer story <laughs> and i thank you for watching <laughs> and um i know it was a silly page but sometimes those silly moments in your scrapbook albums um, are what's going to bring a smile to uh, to to you and your or you and, and yours when you know looking through them later um, I love that and as soon as I saw it I knew I wanted to put it on a page and uh, Today was that day, so thank you for watching. <laughs> Bye.